and then it has like a belt that goes to it. More on a, more like a Kenhoff Kohler off of a international tractor, like a Cub Cadet tractor type deal. Mine's got one of those data generated ones. Yeah, that was in the basement of the house when I bought it. Cool. And I run it. They hooked, they hooked up the propane or gas and I ran it, but it freaking makes so much noise. What they did was they had the exhaust came up and it went right out the side of the foundation. Yeah. So I had a tube run up and, and it still would rack it. So oh, I said, yeah. I can't listen to this thing, so put it up behind. That's pretty cool right there. That's what I need. You got a starter on that one. I need an electric start. Mine's so hard to crank. I let it sit around and don't crank it for a few years, and then it won't crank. I have to tear it apart and rebuild the carburetor. And I just stuck this muffler on it, and we'll get a flapper for it. So if you have it outside. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. pretty cool. It's in good shape. Yeah. Must have been in the basement. I had no military generator, four cylinder flathead. And that thing must have been 12, 15,000 watt generator. Yeah. The handles were like a, it was built on a first aid stretcher. And the handles went in and out, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. Pull the handles out, two guys could get a hold of that thing lugging around. And I bought it off of town. It was in a flood. And they threw it out in front of the garage here. The FEMA had paid town for everything, so they were just pretty much selling the stuff, whatever anybody would give them for it. I think I gave like 50 bucks for it. I took it home and uh, it flooded during the summer and then this was during the fall and I took it home and had a hand crank on it and you crank three quarters of a stroke stop and you go back with three quarters of a crank and stop but it acted like a rod was unhooked up in it. You, know, you could hear it clunking. Yeah. So a buddy of mine came along and says, what are you going to do with that thing? I said, I'm going to put it in the back of your truck and get it out of my hair, right? Well, he takes it home, puts it in his garage and what it was is when it got flooded, it filled the base full of water and a, cr a big chunk of ice froze on the crank. So when it turned around, it would hit the ice and stop. Well, he put it in his garage, it thawed out, and two days later, he had it running. I was, was pissed. I thought it was junk, you know. <laughs>